Hello, and welcome to a special edition of Up Close on METV. I'm Charles Clapsaddle, Station Manager for Manatee Educational Television. And it's been our privilege over the last few years to talk to community leaders and individuals who have given back to our community. And today we're very privileged to have with us people who are doing just that. So let me introduce our panel today and find out about the Vision Foundation. Our first guest, Dr. Michael Mackey. Nice. Dr. Mackey, thank you very I'm much for joining us. Glad to be joining. here. Glad to be here. You know, and I, I can't wait to hear all about what the Vision Foundation is doing and all the great things that you're accomplishing. We're excited about it. Sitting next to Dr. Mackey is Susan Troxler, who is a health services specialist with Mantee County School District. Susan, thank you for joining That's us correct. as well. That's correct, and thank you for doing this program. Oh, we're, we're thrilled to do it. And sitting next to Susan is Jean Hashi. And Jean, you're with the health department, is that correct? That is correct. Thanks for having me. And you're also the supervisor of all school health programs, is that correct? Or services? In coordination with the school board, yes. Excellent. We want to find out more about that. And at the far end of the table is another Dr. Mackey, <laughs> Dr. Sarah Mackey. Uh, Dr. Mackey, thank you for joining us. And uh, we are very interested in not, this program that you have and finding more about it. First of all, your program is called the Vision <clears throat> Foundation. First of all, tell us a little bit about your background and why you wanted to start the Vision Foundation. Well, we're an optometrist group here locally in town. We've actually are celebrating our 49th year in business this year. And we were founded on giving back to the community. And in 2013, we officially formed the Eye Center Vision Foundation. Mm -hmm. Its purpose is solely nonprofit. We're a 501c3. What we do is we donate glasses, full pair of glasses, and eye exams to students who are needy in Manatee County. Wow. That's a, I think that's a tremendous thing. There's got to be a need there in the community. So the other Dr. Mackey, uh, first of all, how did you come up with this concept and why did you want to initiate it? And what's the mission in, in a full sense? Uh, what is your mission uh, to provide those services? As, do, as Dr. Mackey said, the, the Eye Center Vision Foundation is a nonprofit organization committed to providing eye exams and glasses to Manatee County students in need. It's strictly nonprofit, strictly charitable. Um, and through the Vision Foundation, with the guidance and the directions of the Manatee County School Nurses, we're able to provide free exams and a complete set of glasses to the Manatee County students in need. We felt there was the need because of the Manatee County School Nurses. Um, in the past, we have always given uh, anywhere between 20 to 40 exams a year to the nurses to, to hand out to the students after they've done their vision screenings as needed. Mm -hmm. And at one point, one of the nurses was so gracious to put together a thank you book for us. We didn't realize how much we were really benefiting these kids and how much they really appreciated it until we got that thank you book. So after that, Michael and I kind of put our heads together and thought that there's more of a need than we thought. And Absolutely. with the Vision Foundation, we could do a lot more. Well, Michael, you know, as you realize that there was a, not only an ongoing need, but a, an increasing need in the community, putting together the nonprofit and the Vision Foundation was a logical step. And, you know, working with, having worked with the school district and the health department for a period of time before, they probably welcomed you to have that nonprofit capability to be able to do more. They did, and actually they were very instrumental in this whole thing. When we first got that scrapbook, and it was a wonderful, kind of a heartfelt thing. We've been doing this for over 25 years, donating really? these eyeglasses and exams to the school, and you know, it became just a part of what we do, but you know, we almost lost sight of what we were really accomplishing. It almost, mm -hmm. in, in some ways, it became mundane. We were just doing it. And it wasn't until really they showed up one day and said, and showed us pictures of these kids, and these kids so happy, we're like, oh my gosh, we're, this is really a good thing. You know, we could expand on this. We could make it better. Mm -hmm. At that point, we opened up the avenues, and I came to one of the school board meetings with the nurses, and I said, we're thinking about doing this. <clears throat> what do you all think? What's your feeling on this? Is there a need? It's a lot of work. You know, we don't want to go through it if the need is not there. Um, but if it is there, we really, we feel like we can do this. We can make this better. And it, with them, I said, if we will do this together, we'll do it. They handle all the screenings. They handle all of the paperwork, if you would. Our idea is not to create another job for someone. We've got to 
screen people and do this. The nurses completely volunteer their time Excellent. and their expertise to get us to make sure we have the right kids. We just have to do what we do every day, and that's see patients and make them happy and give them glasses. It's just fortunate that we can have funds to give it to them for nothing. And, and you know, Dr. Mack, I, I must say, you know, there is a need. You know, I can't think of a better gift to give to a student than to be able to give them a pair of glasses so they can read, they can study, and they can excel in school. And, you know, you're really to be congratulated, you know, for, you know, for this effort. But I'd like to hear a little bit from Sue, if I could, just a minute. As a school nurse, you're like that first line. You know, you, somebody's sick or they have a cold or something like that. But you know, having eye problems is, is something that you know, you have to go a little step deeper mm -hmm. if, if, if a child is experiencing some vision problems. Is oh, that correct? Sure, absolutely. And actually, the mission of school health is, for, as our role as nurses, is to help students succeed academically in Correct. school. That's why we're there, so we can provide whatever services are needed so they can stay in school and learn and succeed. Um, but part of that is also, as, as school nurses, one of our core functions is health screening. And mm -hmm. one of those health screenings is vision, obviously. Vision and hearing. If a student can't see and hear, they're not going to learn very well. Mm -hmm. And so that's actually in our mandates mm -hmm. uh, from the state that we do, that we do vision screening on, uh, on certain grade levels for, for all students kindergarten, first, uh, third, and sixth grade, and really? sometimes ninth grade. Um, <clears throat> so we routine, every year we screen all students in those grade levels. So as you're screening, and Jean, I mean, uh, ask, uh, and Dr. Mackey's jump in whenever, when you screen a student and if you discover that there is uh, uh, an issue with their vision, uh, you would determine then that this person is in need of glasses mm -hmm. or a more thorough in-depth examination. Is, is that the mm -hmm. next logical step then? Uh, that, that, that's right. Mm -hmm. as, as soon as, if, if they do not pass their vision screening exam, mm -hmm. then we get with the parents and refer them to uh, their providers. If they don't have a provider or they, if for some of the exactly. parents in need, then we have, uh, the, you know, this phenomenal resource available to us uh, to help parents get, you know, get their child into care. Did you hear that? It's a phenomenal resource. Yeah, I, I think that's a great thing. So it Jane, is. It, let, me, let me ask you this, as part of the health department as well, you know, and your overall mission is for the safety and health of, of, of the entire community. Yeah. How important is it, you know, from your perspective, to have a resource like the Vision Foundation being able to help, you know, for that family that might not be able to afford that in-depth examination or that pair of glasses? How important is that? It's extremely important from a standpoint standpoint of the students doing well in school. There is an a, a f increasing focus on in Manatee County and across Florida for students to do well, to move forward, and they cannot do that if they're having to walk up to the blackboard to write their notes, mm. or they're relying on a seatmate to help them take notes. So it's, it's extremely important in order for them to be able to do well. And, and, and I think through your screening process, as Sue mentioned, through your screening process, you can identify you know, need right off at, at the bat. Okay. How, tell me a little bit about how often do, do people need eye exams? Dr. Mackey? Well, from a purely clinical standpoint, we recommend every year you know, during the growing years, and then every other year sometimes if you don't have too many problems. Mm -hmm. But even if, you know, there's more to it than just what you're able to see. Mm -hmm. There's, you know, there's glaucoma, there's childhood congenital issues that we can mm -hmm. call them that, you know, you may not pick up. You know, just because someone can see doesn't necessarily mean that they don't have glaucoma. Mm -hmm. So obviously we recommend full comprehensive eye exams normally. What is so wonderful about the school system, and maybe y'all can help me with this, how many screenings do y'all do? How many kids are you doing this on every year? Well, I will, I will tell you exactly Exactly. Last year in the grades that Sue mentioned, kindergarten first, third and sixth, we did over 15,300 mandatory screenings. Now I, and I will tell you that that's not solely limited to those grades. Teachers that may notice a student squinting uh, in a different grade, fourth, fifth, a high school level, mm -hmm. they will ask the school nurse to screen those students as well. <clears throat> If I may add to that, on the socioeconomic level, this is all kids. You know, right. We right. get from the schools, just right. as being in business, a form that we have to sign saying they did not pass their screening at school. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, most parents have resources or have insurances through their work. Exactly. And they're just coming in normally, or any eye care place does that. But not everybody. 
not everybody has that. Well, correct, exactly. And that's the niche that we're filling here. This is the niche of those people that they send something home to the parents. Right. Either they don't get a response back from the parents or the response they get is, well, I can't afford to do that right now. Mm -hmm. They will then look at other resources. You know, there's Medicaid. There are some great programs out exactly. there for people, but there's still a lot of people that slip through those cracks. Exactly. And, and that is something that y'all have talked about before, you know. That, that's right. We do have other resources available to us. Sure. And I, we appreciate those resources. Uh, but but for, for instance, for Medicaid, uh, they will, Medicaid will only provide a vision exam and glasses every so often. So if the child for, falls short of that time, they can't get more glasses if they but, lose and I, And I would, or, I would suggest, too, if you're a child of your you know, grade level, if you break your glasses, you, uh -huh. you can't wait another year for another set of glasses. Exactly, and so all of our other resources have some criteria attached to it, which is fine and I understand and that's their purpose and mission, but sure. they either have to have a social security number, they have to have a certain uh, uh, visual acuity. And sometimes we see students that even though, just as Dr. Mackey said, they, they do see, but we also no notice other signs and symptoms and feel they really do need to get into care and make sure Nothing else is going. Uh, nothing else is going on. And so, the wonderful thing about the Vision Foundation is that there are no restrictions. It's sure, whoever sure. is in need, mm -hmm. uh, whatever the situation may be, or the family's financial situation, or it, you know, just there's no strings attached. It's whoever's in need. They would like to take care of them. What, what, what a great, doing. great right. mission to do mm -hmm. that. And, and you're, you're identifying it by need and, and trying to do and serve as many as you possibly can. Um, I'd like to take a few minutes and Dr. Mackey, you know, please uh, help me if you will. Vision problems for children are, 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 are pretty extensive, you know, from just having, you know, corrective lenses to even more problems. How important is it, you know, for children having vision difficulty, uh, you know, to have a correct eye exam and, and that right pair of glasses? It is very important. Most of the problems we find when we see the kids, you know, the typical problems are nearsighted or farsighted, so they can't see the board at school, or uh, if they're farsighted, they have trouble reading. A lot of the kids have uh, a lazy eye, and a lazy eye is important to get in and have your eyes checked and get the right correction or the right treatment. Right. Before the age of seven is really a good cutoff. We like to see them before seven because you can get a lot of a lot of treatment done and, and really help these kids strengthen their eyes if you get it before that age. So really, um, it, it's, it's important for them to get these, to get the, the right vision. A lot of kids don't even realize they're not seeing well. You know, you, you hear the, the story of, you know, a kid gets his glasses for the first time, they look out, oh my gosh, there's leaves on the trees. They didn't realize that the trees actually have individual leaves and that's just an amazing thing. Hmm. So that's the big thing. A lot of the kids don't even realize they have problems. So that's where the screening comes in and, and it's important. And like Sue said, um, with the some of the other, other um, insurances that she has to use, there's a criteria. Well, if Sue or Jean looks, as a, looks at a kid and sees that the eye may be swinging a little bit. That is a criteria that, you know, obviously they can just give, a, give these students a certificate, send them to us, and we can take a look at it and take care of it. So not being able to see, obviously, kids can't read. Right. They, you know, they can't see what the teachers are saying, and they can't pay attention in class. It's very hard to pay attention when you can't see what you're doing. And, and they would fall farther behind in Absolutely. their lesson plan, or they're not doing as well as the, as the, the student perhaps sitting next to them. So you know, it, it's an identifiable problem that can be resolved by just having that vision test and having the services of the Vision Foundation. I, and it's really a remarkable thing. It's really giving back to this community. But I would like to ask, you know, uh, Jean, if I may, you know, from a health department standpoint, you're also a nurse within a school system, as uh, within the schools, correct? That's correct. So, you know, you see kids with glasses all the time, you know, and, and it's, it's very important for their, for their vision. What do you tell parents when you have the opportunity to talk to them about the importance of getting their children's eyes checked? Well, oftentimes we, uh, um, how can I say, we really emphasize the need to have the student reevaluated on a yearly basis. Mm -hmm. As they're growing through the, their younger and adolescent years, 
I think what happens is the student, again, doesn't realize that they may be having a change in their vision, and they'll come into the clinic and ask me to check their vision. I said, well, how long have you had your glasses? Oh, four or five years. <laughs> And yeah. so Please. it's... <laughs> There's a lot of change in the teenage years, especially. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, well, I think, I think it's really important, you know, you know, first of all, you know, the health department and the school system are really to be applauded for, you know, the, the emphasis that you put on, on screening, on a, on a series of tests that you do. But it, absolutely, when it comes to eye care and, and vision, you know, it's really important for that child to have that opportunity to be able to see. And a lot of families, while they want to do the best for their child, may not have that opportunity immediately to provide that kind of... Uh, extensive care and that's where I think the Vision Foundation is really filling a need that perhaps you know is could have been you know done by other means but there there's no means there available so Dr. Mackey tell us a little bit about an example of when you get a certificate from Sue when that student comes in uh, you make an appointment they handle everything, correct? They correct. handle the screening, they handle the paperwork. You know, you're a busy uh, 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 doctor uh, with a thriving practice. You know, you can't be expected to handle that, but so tell us the process. Well, that's why I say this is a true partnership. I mean, I it, guess it, like in some ways they're doing all the work, we're doing what we do every day, which is what makes it good. It makes it, it, makes it a very simple process. They will, in essence, at the beginning of the year, we will fill out some forms and we'll sign them and number them individually and I get them to Sue, and then Sue, she distributes them out to the school system. Right. If we need more, we do more. But basically then what they'll do is they'll determine the need, or if it's something simple as a kid broke their glasses but they were Medicaid, they fill the form out, the child comes in. If they have a prescription, then we don't even necessarily see them. We just will make the glasses for them. But now if they haven't had an eye exam in a year, again, that's where the school nurse, when's the last time you had an eye exam? Oh, well, I don't know, it's been three years. That's when they actually make the appointment, the, usually the parents will make parents. the appointment. They give the information, mm -hmm. the parents will make the appointment, and we don't even know that that's what it's for until they come in and hand us the form at the front Correct. desk. And at that point, they're just, you know, on the appointment like anybody else. And then they go through. Now, there's other cases, too, that we have, and, and maybe uh, Dr. Sarah can help out a little bit more with this. We have a child now that came in on a routine not seeing well, didn't pass her school screening, and I believe she had a congenital cataract. Right. Hmm. One of our other physicians, Dr. Paige Gillenwaters, actually saw her. So she did an exam. The girl was wearing glasses, and she said, I just don't wear my glasses anymore because I don't feel like they're helping. Hmm. Well, after doing the exam, Dr. Gillenwaters found that she actually has a cataract, you know, as a young child, a cataract. Um, not real common, but certainly does happen, and that's, again, one of those things that will affect her vision. If it's not taken care of, can cause problems in the future, such as a lazy eye or what we call amblyopia. Mm -hmm. So through the efforts of the Vision Foundation, because we've got the foundation, we were actually able to send her to a doctor at All Children's. So she's right now in the care of the doctor at All Children's, and they're evaluating her and I'm not sure what they're going to do when they're going to proceed with cataract surgery. They're definitely following her, but it's definitely something that's going to be in the works. So her parents have, she has no insurance. They have, they have nothing. So if this proceeds, then certainly the funds with the Vision Foundation will help, will pay for that. And, and again, you know, hats off to you for not only recognizing the need, but finding other avenues to be able to help that child. Right. And I think that's a remarkable thing to do. You know, so, you, you know, you, yeah, we could do an eye exam, you know, if we could provide glasses. But if there's a, a greater need, we can find the resources or the services that might be helpful. Absolutely. And, and again, that's a, that's a, a great next step. Yeah, and that's why uh, Michael and I are so excited about this foundation because, like he said, we've been doing the eye exams for the school system for, for years. I've been with the eye center for 13 years now. <laughs> <laughs> And we've been doing it since I started. And a couple of times I've had a patient where I can't really help them because it's not necessarily that they need glasses, it's something else that they need some type of a surgery or you know higher up care. And it's very frustrating to talk to that parent and you can see it in the parent's face, sure. well, what am I supposed to do? So it's very, very frustrating to talk to, you know, to, to have to say that to a, a poor child and the parent. And now we don't have to do that. 
That's really nice. Again, what, what a great, great story yeah. that is. I mean, to be able to, to help that one family, you know, to, you know, to get glasses, you know, because of the simple fact they can't afford it, it, it's just a remarkable thing. And I can only imagine, and I'll, I'll ask each one of you perhaps to share a little anecdote with me, I can only imagine how happy that student is, that young person is, when they get those glasses and they can see. Mm -hmm. So that's got to be, it's got to be an uplifting uh, feeling for everybody involved. Mm -hmm. It is, it really is. It, Michael, you were saying? You were well, saying? I was just saying, you know, the, the, the outpouring of support we've received from this since we started you know, really making it public and what we're doing has really been amazing. We even had another person that I referred for an issue to a local ophthalmological group, and I told him, I said, we're gonna pay for this out of our foundation. Well, y'all have foundation is? Well, comp it. You know, so just by sometimes getting the, the word out there sure. of what we're trying to accomplish, other people have really, you know, poured in to help. Mm. Um, and, and, and Dr. Sarah can help with this one too. We've had some frame companies that we've solicited, you know, we all, you know, help us with our mission. And, you know, it's a little different now in, in today's corporate world. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it's sunshine laws or what it is, but basically as far as giving money, it's, it's very difficult right mm -hmm. now. But they give us frames. We had one company give us 50 Disney frames no last kidding. year. You know, <laughs> it's so good, now- it's, cute, good frames for these. Yeah, and, so kids, now we went, and kids love them. Excited about them. Right, exactly. we went from frames that were, you know, maybe, not perfect or the most thrilled yeah. about to getting a Disney frame. So it, it, it's, it's snowballing a little bit. So but, what we're able to do is, is just by getting the word of what we started, and really that's what we wanted to accomplish, to make this better, and that's what's happening. And, and I would suggest, Dr. Mackey, you know, that you know, good things happen because of good things happening. And you know, your partnership with the school district and the health department has kind of blossomed and nurtured and everything. But other organizations, whether it's other physicians or vendors that you're using, of hearing of the good works that you're doing, want to help, want to contribute, want to give back in some way. And, and again, it, it, it's really because of the work that you're doing. So congratulations Thank on you. that. And we're kind of running down a little bit on time, and I want to go around a little bit um, and, and get some kind of insight and everything. And Gene, we want to start with you. What would you say is the most important thing that, that you know, parents and families should know about this service that's available? Well, I think if a parent is concerned about their child's vision, the first stop would be to talk to the school nurse. Every school has a school nurse, and she is one of the best resources available on the school campus. Mm -hmm. And I, I would strongly suggest that the parent talk to the school nurse. And, and one other quick question for you, Jean. You know, the health department is really involved in this as, as well. And you know, tell us about their support for this program. Well, can you tell us a little bit about how you're, how you're working with the health department to get the word out about this service? Well, the health department staffs some of the schools. Ah. And uh, because we have 11 schools in Manatee County that are staffed, we staff the clinic and yeah. we staff them with a school nurse as well. But they're health department individuals. But they are employed Excellent. by the health department. So in cooperation with the school board nurses, we all work together to uh, make sure this happens. Common goal. Whether you Common know. goal, yes. So, Sue, so you've seen the results of you know, some of the uh, generosity of the Vis mm -hmm. Vision Foundation uh, firsthand. You know, when, mm -hmm. when a student comes back in that you've referred for an eye exam, you know, just tell us the kind of response that you see from that student about you know, get, getting their glasses and getting a, oh. you know, a, a, a great prescription. Uh, they, they love it. They are very, very grateful. Um, some of the students, the classic line is what Dr. Sarah Mackey just said, uh, there's leaves on the trees. I could never <laughs> see that before. Um, <clears throat> so that's, you know, that's exciting. Sometimes, depending on the glasses, they want to think like they look like a certain movie star. Uh, do I look like so-and-so? And, -so? and <laughs> we say, great. oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Um, and, you and know, I, I can only imagine that it not only helps with their, you know, their, their self-esteem, but uh -huh. also with, with their, you know, contributing success as a student as well. And that's a key mm -hmm. thing. Well, yeah, if I is. may just support that, because Oftentimes the students will come into the clinic and will not want to wear glasses because they will look nerdy or they won't mm -hmm. look as attractive. Mm -hmm. And when we tell them that they, there are extremely attractive, fashionable frames available, it mm -hmm. changes their whole manner. And then sure. when they come it in to show us, difference. it makes a huge yes. difference. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they're proud. They come in wearing them and they are extremely proud to have them. 
Yes. And, and I think that's a real key. You know, your kids yeah. are, you yeah. know, social animals, yes, you know, they, they like to do that. And yeah. anything that can be done to help them fit in would be, you know, it, it, it's a great thing. Yeah. Now, Dr. Mackey, you know, this, this is a remarkable achievement that you had, and it's only the second year of the foundation, is that correct? Yes. Even though you've been doing the same work for right. a period of time. Right. You know, and I must say, I mean, it's a remarkable achievement, and I can see, you know, the future for this can kind of continuing to be very bright and successful. But if you can, just take a moment to tell us why you want to do this. You're a successful doctor with a thriving practice. Why do you want to do this, you know, to give back to this, uh, these students in this community? I think it's important to support your community. The community is everybody in it, especially the children. They're obviously, they're the future of the community. And if we're not supporting the community, then, then the community just dies. So it's important to, to bolster them up. You know, if anybody, if they're down, if there's somebody needs help, you help them, and that's what uh, that's what Americans all about. That's just the the human spirit is to to help out, and that's why we want to do this to help out in our community. Uh, my goal is to ha to make sure that there's no kid in school that cannot see. There's no need for a kid to not be able to see, and that's my goal with this foundation is to be sure that we ca we catch all the kids, and we get them what they need, and in the future, hopefully. Vision will not be an issue with learning, with attention, with anything in schools. Well, that's, that, that's a great mission, and you know, I, I'm sure you're going to have continued success. But with any efforts and everything, there, there's obviously a, a great deal of work to be done. And you know, fundraising is a big part of it. You know, one would say, well, how, how do you perpetuate your mission, Dr. Mackey? How can this community help you continue this mission? Well, and most of our funding we get, we have an annual fundraiser. We actually have one coming up this February. Mm -hmm. And if anybody is interested in attending in that, they can call us at the office and get mm -hmm. any information about it. A lot or go it, to your website. Or go to our website, right. iCenter Inc. And, but a lot of it too, just the frame companies, and they've been donating stuff. I mean, the outpouring, even some lenses, some things just from with, with the, I say inward in our community mm -hmm. itself, in the, the vision community, whether it's a frame company or a lens company, that outpouring has been wonderful. So a lot of a lot of has come from there. And honestly, word of mouth. Uh -huh. It's really been a word of mouth mm -hmm. thing. And this is really our first, you know, public being out there. Well, and and you know, anything that we can do to help support, you know, trying to get the the word out there, getting your website out, and for people to tune in, find out about your fundraiser. Um, I mean, anything we can do to help, we'd be more than happy to, because I think it's a, such a worthwhile program. Uh, but let me ask one brief question for the doctors here, if I may. What do you see for the future? How do you see the uh, Vision Foundation growing or, or perhaps uh, expanding in, 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 the, in the years to come? Well, the way I really envision this is that we fill a wonderful niche right now. Mm -hmm. You know, glasses and children's eye health. There's a lot of other wonderful things out there that, you know, give away free cataract surgeries and a lot of things like that. I think we've got a good niche, and it's children. Children are the ones that tend to slip through the cracks. Mm -hmm. and, and that's really where I envision this. I really want this to get to a point where we have the resources to get kids these classes. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if funds allow, yes, we love the things like the child going to all children doing cataract surgery. And, you know, based on when it's said and done, if a kid needs something, we want to be able to do it. We don't want to have to worry about how are we going to do it. Right. And that's really our goal. So down the road, we can do anything we want to when we need to for that person. No bureaucracy. It can and just be done. I think that's an excellent point. Very eloquent. Dr. Mackey, you want to add anything to that? I just have it aside. We keep saying children. I want everybody to know that we want to do kindergartners through high school too because the high school kids, you, sure. they need the help too. And that's where your eyes are really changing as you're in your teenage years. So yeah. everybody know it's not just elementary. It is elementary all the way through high school. Well, we're going to put the website up so people want to find out about how they can help or perhaps, you know, support your fundraiser, which is an annual event. Uh, you know, I would encourage everyone, you know, to find out more about it and see how you can support the Vision Foundation and the great work that they continue to do. First of all, Susan, I want to thank you very much. Uh, continued thank success you. in what you're doing. And you know, we'd welcome you back in your future programs to talk about some other health issues, perhaps, you okay. know? That would be great. Obesity, is that a problem in schools? Oh, yes. Okay, we'll talk <laughs> we about that. We got, we got all the problems. 
And Jane, thank you for joining us too. And I know the health department is very involved in a lot of you know health issues, and you know we, we welcome you to come back. But you know to the doctors here today. First of all, I want to say thank you for doing this and 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 giving us a, you know because I know how busy you are and and uh, to take a little bit of time to talk about your program. I think it's a very important work that you're doing. You know, and I, it is probably a pretty well kept secret. And anything that we can do to help promote that, to get the word out, to find out perhaps about other people you know who can donate or who can support you in any means uh, I think that's an important asset to have uh, the work that you have you can give one child a pair of glasses to help them read better to see better you know to feel better in life what a great thing but you know all the many children that you've helped at uh, each successive year you know it's really a, a remarkable achievement and you know the community is very very blessed to have you know uh, individuals like you giving back so thank you again for joining us, Dr. Mackey, Sue, Jean, Dr. Mackey, okay. thank you for joining us. And thank you for joining us on this special edition of Up Close on METV. If you want to find out more information about the Vision Foundation and the great work that they're doing, or even support them and some of their fundraising capabilities, go to their website and find out how you can help. Thank you, and we'll see you next time on METV.